Okay, but this is a blunder because I just take. Oh, wait, no. If he takes and I take, I don't have mate. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. I just blundered again. I just made a big blunder. Let's see how what, I'm, what I can do. Okay, but he blunders right back into checkmate, and, I, and all is well. All is well. Very, very bad game. How am I doing? I'm doing very well, you guys. Okay, there we go. All right, let's start with E4. Actually, let me re refresh this page so that the animations are correct. One second. Okay, so he's played C6. I'm gonna play a hillbilly gambit. Let's go here. Let's play Queen H5 next move. Try to keep keep it rolling. Did I, did I sleep well back in LA? I slept fantabulously, you guys. Let's play Queen H5. Go for a quick checkmate. You drop back. Play Knight C3, F3 here. Um, and just just try to uh, just try to play in the center as quickly as possible. As everybody knows, this is of course the hillbilly gambit. Okay, now my opponent is very serious. It looks like Drago eighty nine. Okay, I will take. I don't know about Queen D four. Maybe he should have gone Bishop F five to guard the pawn. Instead, he instead he goes like this. Now it's back to even material. I get two bishops. Yeah, I have two B shops here. D three F four Bishop E three. I should be quite a bit better already. Have I lost this account? Yes, you guys. I lost one game. Uh, I got very careless in an end game. I hung a piece when I looked away from the screen, which is why I do have one loss. Let's play F4, maybe Queen F3 next move. Uh, yeah, Jump King, I may, I may or may not play. The thing with Jump King is I actually tried to play a little bit of off stream, and I was expecting it to be hard. I wasn't expecting it to be really hard from the very get-go, so I'm un undecided on that one. I still kind of want to but uh but it was surprisingly difficult from the get-go whereas like when the previous versions it got harder progressively it didn't start out insanely hard whereas baby what's it is it babe of ascension i think is the map it started out extremely difficult and i wasn't really expecting that so i may or may not i may or may not do it but um but but we'll see we'll see is this the beatles yeah play the old one i've, I've played the old one before they need a Matt Incognito for the Prime. They need a Black Roost for the Prime. For Wheezy with the Prime. And W1M F1NK for the Tier 1 as well. Thank you to Anxiety Smurf for the five months. Thanks so much, man. Play the old Jump King? Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I could play the old one. Um, but anyway. Okay, this looks really, really good here. I have Bishop E3. I have D4. Big center attacking. I am not in St. Louis, you guys. As you probably can tell, I am currently in... Um, I'm currently in uh, St. Louis, or not St. Louis, sorry, I'm currently in, in, in uh, Los Angeles. So, no. Okay, Knight of 4, I can play Queen E4. Takes, 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 King C2 or King B1. It looks winning. Yeah, it looks... It looks winning, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm at home, you guys. I'm here in Los Angeles. Uh, congrats on St. Louis. When are you playing over the board next? I'm not sure when my next over the board tournament will be. Um, or actually, I am sure uh, of the next one. It'll be the the 9 960 chess being played in in St. Louis, September, I believe, 8th to 11th or thereabouts. It's not pre-recorded either, you guys. Um, but uh, that's that that's that's my plan for the next over the board tournament. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. Uh, but at the moment, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm here in LA. I'm happy, chilling, and uh, I will be going to Detroit this evening. I have a red eye flight. We are going to be filming on Saturday. Um, we're going to be filming some IRL chess. They're playing against some of the, some of the hustlers, like the streamer James Canty and other master level players. There are also a lot of inner city kids who are like 16, 1700. We're going to be playing against them as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. Make sure to make sure to stay tuned for that. That will be on um that will be on YouTube. Okay, we get the win. So again, we're playing only tricks in in this uh, in in this um, this opening. I just saw your latest coffee chess video is hilarious. Yeah, have you ever played Go? And do you think chess ability has any crossover? Um, objectively, no, because even though it's pattern recognition, it's so vastly different. It'd be like, for example, okay, my opponent appears to be missing. Um, but but I would I would say that it's like it's pattern recognition, but it's not the same pattern. So it's like. He plays a stone and there's some long-term concept around like a Joseki or you know wh wh whichever concept it is um now how do I gambit here 
I'm gonna do some kind of weird gambit. Let's go c6 and b5. Or wait, no, let's let's play a gambit. Let's go b5 a6 here. Um, <clears throat> but what I would say is even those patterns are so vastly different that I don't think it's really really comparable. Okay, let's go. I guess I'll go here in bishop g7. I actually like my position quite a bit here. I might even be able to claim a huge center with d5 and e6. This looks very pleasant. Rook b8 is coming next move. This looks very good for me. Go here. Probably I will just castle next move. Um, he goes rook b1. Let's castle. Thank you to Kalistan for the six months. Thank you to Suplex City for the prime. Thank you so much. Uh, invented a new gambit. Yeah, this is some kind of gambit. I don't know what you would call it, but it's some kind of gambit. Let's go here. Day 1000 of asking for the Latvian Gambit. Um, it's not on this tricks list, but I could definitely play it. Let's go here. Maybe C4. Don't really like my position that much, but maybe it's playable. I look different today. Um, do I? Okay. It's probably the hair, if anything. Let's go C4 and take. What gambits? I'm going to play a bunch of gambits. I look like I didn't wash my face. That is one thing I most certainly did. Um... <clears throat> let's see I, I can play rook d8 here i can play knight before i think i'll go here knight before takes you look beautiful ignore the trolls thing you think it has a galua for the 17 i feel great so I, I must look great too right okay how do i do this i can still drop back maybe actually let's go here try to trade some pieces I look like I had a really, really good sleep. Oh, I, I definitely did. I slept very well. I look about 30k richer. I'm not, I don't follow politics super closely, you guys. It's not my jam. Um, I, I would say that in general, I find politics pretty disgusting, is, is what I would say. Thank you to Rick Monster for the six months. Thank you so much, Rick Monster. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say. Why am I not playing the next online Meltwater <clears throat> Champions Tour event? I'm not playing it for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, I have a um i have a, a photo shoot film session for a sponsor outside of the country which will be during that window of when the event is that's the first first obvious reason um and then i would say beyond that additionally uh there's something there's something else there's something else that i'm forgetting about there's something else um but yeah there there, there are a couple of things that are going on so so that's the reason Oh, there's also Twitch Rivals. There's also Twitch Rivals on the 26th. I mean, there are all kinds of things going on. Will I get a COVID booster shot? I don't know, honestly. I find the whole thing insane at this point. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Do I regret the quick draw, especially versus Wesley Stone and St. Louis Blitz that cost you number one blitz rating? I spoke about this yesterday, and I, I will say this again. In terms of rapid and blitz ratings, uh, it's, it's sort of like a... Um, it's sort of like what 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 is your blitz what are your blitz and rapid ratings is it is it like a currency or not like the classical chess rating when you have it based on your classical rating you get invitations to tournaments and so forth so your classical rating very much is like your, is like a currency but the rapid and blitz ratings don't really matter in the sense that you're not going to get an invitation to a tournament based off of that really there aren't that many events outside of like the grand chess tour or an occasional blitz event so because of that it's not really a currency in the same way that your classical chess rating is and therefore um it's not really that big of a deal objectively so what when we get back to the the uh the question of whether i, I regret some of those quick draws not at all okay so we should get another win we're gonna be up to 252 wins after this so i will already update this play e4 we're up to 252 um which gambit do we want to play let's probably put a pansy annie with c3 maybe d4 here um like this well awesome answer thank you yeah i mean what i would say about the rapid and blitz ratings is it's nice to have a really high rating but it doesn't carry like there's no real carryover sure you can play in the grand chester with a high blitz or a high rapid rating but objectively objectively it doesn't really it doesn't really change anything i've never been to tunisia no um so so, that, so that, that's what i would say is that like in, in in it's nice to have it but it doesn't really mean anything overall because there's also the world blitz and rapid tournament as well okay let's take the pawn uh I'd probably go queen d okay it goes queen e7 to play a very boring end game my opponent must be must be russian if he wants to play an end game very very dry position
I seem sleepy as well. No, I'm actually quite awake. I feel very, very good. I hit the gym for about an hour and a half yesterday, so I'm feeling amazing. I guess I will take with the king maybe and go knight c3 here. When is the world in Blitz Rapid Tournament? I don't know. I don't think it's happening this year. I've been to Greece. Yeah, I've streamed from Greece. Um, what set am I repping? I usually use a lot of the pre-core machines. So, like, primarily I do, like, you know, like, the, the leg curls, like, the shoulder shoulder presses, the, those sorts of things um, quite a bit. My arms actually are bigger than they used to be. Let's play knight f2 here. Maybe I'll go h4, maybe bishop d3. Very, very slow position. Um, Really, really slow, as I said. It's like, I guess I'll play g4 here. I can also go h4 and g5, maybe. I don't know if it's good, but it's worth a shot. Am I planning to do any IRL streams? Not specifically. I've found, um, first of all, what I would say about doing doing IRL streams is I don't have any interaction with you guys, the chat. So I really don't, I don't like that. I have to say that to me, that like I feel like the whole point of streaming is having that direct interaction. If I do IRL streams, I don't have that interaction with you guys. So I'm really not a... Um, I'm not a huge fan of doing that, especially in relation to chess, because then I can't talk to you guys. And and while it's fun here and here or there, like to me, community is the thing that matters the most. And so I'm not really big on that. I do not work out at the TSM gym, you guys. That's that's actually kind of a funny thing I, I would say is that okay, I guess I'll just play off four here. He's kind of forcing me to. I guess I'll trade. I guess I'll go rookie one to put pressure on the bishop here. I can take play bishop b5 at some moment. Um, but yeah. My best tournament ever, probably uh it's not St. Louis, to be clear. Best tournament ever is probably I don't know. My opponent just blundered though. So it so while I'm thinking about that, um you, you can reach out for a phone. Well, I have two monitors here. Oh, oh sorry, you mean for IRL? Yeah, but it's not the same because I'm like, I'll give you an example. Let's say I play, let's just say I play IRL chess or, you know, let's say I go to a restaurant with Myth or whatever, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, there are going to be windows of like 10 minutes where I'm not looking at my phone. And if I'm looking at my phone when I'm playing, like I'm looking all the time, well, that's just, that's just, that takes away from the whole, whole uh, live interaction too. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on that, I have to say. Can I take with this? I can also take with the bishop. I guess I just take. He takes and I take and I should be winning. So th that's just what I would say generally. Um, let's take and go rookie seven. Were there any moves I made last time that were really bad? There were a couple couple moves that I played that were, that were not ideal, but overall it was pretty good. What do you think about the high praise tweet about your skills from Gary Kasparov? Um, I mean, Gary's a legend. He he always will be. He definitely, I mean, probably when all is said and done, he won't be considered the GOAT. Probably he'll be second after Magnus. Um, but still, it's always, I mean, it's always great to uh it's always great to hear hear what Gary is saying about chess players, what's going on, and uh he's just someone who who's who's uh who's who's good. View arena today. We might do a view arena in like an hour or so. Um, that's possible. Yeah, we, we actually might do a view arena, but in the meantime, let's keep going with our hillbilly gam or hillbilly, not hill, hillbilly. Okay, so play knight c3, maybe f3. Kasparov is third. No, I mean, Kasparov is, Kasparov is first or second simply because Bobby ran away. And you, you guys can call this a hot take. Maybe I'm in that kind of spicy mood this morning. But Bobby ran, ran away like a chicken. He didn't want to play against the against the, the great Russian hope Anatoly Karpov, and he, he ran away. Um, so I'm just going to be blunt about it. That, that's what happened. He ran away. He, he was he was he was he was definitely afraid of playing it playing against Karpov. Make no mistake about it. Um so he was only world champion for short window. Sure he was way ahead of the field, but you know it's like let's say let's say I'll give you an example. When Magnus hit 2890, when Magnus hit 2890 or whatever it was, um that would be like Magnus saying, Okay, I've been world champion for three years, I'm 2890. I can't do anything more in chess. You know what? I'm done, I'm done. I achieved everything I can do, I'm not gonna play chess ever again. That's that that's sort of what it's like. And um I mean, that's the thing. Magnus, of course, did not do that, obviously. And that's the thing. Um, Bobby said Karpov didn't want to play. I think I think at the end of the day, uh, uh, I mean, Bobby might have found a way to play. But if Bobby wanted to play, I think he would have been something like they would have had to come with like $10 million or something. It would have been something insane. Um, I, I do believe Karpov would have won, though. I do believe that. Thank you to Zombomi for the five. Thank you to PG Luxa for the three. Thank you so much. 
Guess I'll go here. Yeah, Magnus' peak was 2081 in the live ratings. He was like 2887 or something. But that's sort of what I would say it's akin to. Because when Bobby Fischer was at his peak, he was like 2780. He was like 130 points ahead of everyone else. He was way ahead of everybody. So that, that's why I say it would be like when Magnus hit his 2880 or whatever. He's like, ah, you know what? I... You know, I've accomplished I've accomplished everything that I that I need to do. You know, let, let's just let's just go and go and chill. Um, and of course, Magnus is a great champion, and he didn't do that. So that's why, even though Bobby was way ahead, uh, he can't ever really rank number two in my book because of how short the time period was. Do I think Morphe could have beaten Magnus? No, and it's not a good comparison because Chess in the eighteen eighteen uh, like eighteen fifties eighteen sixties was not was not what Chess is in modern day. So you just can't compete it or compare it. Let's go. Um, I can play G4. I can also go F4. I think it's part of the note chest for 23 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I can play Queen E3, maybe F4 next move. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, it's like you can't compare the old guys. I mean, let's see. It's like, it's like for example, if you put, let's like, let's just say Magnus had his natural talent or whatever, and the understanding he has in some way, and you put him back 200 years, and he's like 2,500. Like that would be, that would be phenomenal but you just can't you can't compare let's go f4 i'll take and play rookie rook f1 thank you to mark meach for the six months who's the enemy i lost to i hung a piece against uh michael eigner his he goes by the username f pawn uh, I, I hung i hung a piece against him and I, I lost the game and he is a he he is a master who he has some disabilities he does not have arms uh he does not have arms or legs so he's someone that i've known he's just a lot for chess considering considering all the things going on and uh if i had to lose to someone it's uh it's it's, it's great that it was him play d6 yeah i can obviously trade i can also i guess i have to trade kind of let's go rookie one yeah i mean no joke i mean i i have to say for all the things that we for all the things that we complain about in our lives for someone to, to have no arms no legs he's been in a wheelchair i think from the time he was born um and to be a master chess player to be someone who's done a lot for the game of chess i mean it's it's incredible that's all that i really have to say it's just i, I mean i i know that if that happened to me i could not i there's no way i would even be able to function there's no way to even be positive so so yeah it's it's pretty incredible okay let's see um i'm gonna take and trade oh i had bishop a4 there which i missed bishop a4 is a good move I've got to try to open this position up because I still have a pass pawn, a protected pass pawn at that that I can run down the board. So it's kind of important to play like that. How does he move the pieces? I, I think his arm, he is like, he is, he is like, he is like one finger. He like, he, he basically has to do, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but, but he, he is well known in chess circles. Very, very, very nice guy. Let's go rook c7 last stream for the week uh yes this is the last stream so i'm going to um i'm going to bermuda or let's take with the rook i'm going to detroit sorry i'm going to detroit uh i'm going i'm going to detroit uh this weekend i don't know why i was about to say bermuda i i i i was i, I don't know what's wrong I was, <laughs> bermuda just spouted out of my mouth maybe i need to take a vacation to bermuda or something that was very random of me um all right anyway we've got another win let's keep going <laughs> i'm sorry you guys that 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 um play e5 can't can't have stuff in detroit uh well we're doing a lot of irl videos I, i've known the people in detroit for many many years i guess i'll play a blackburn shilling kind of or some version or we can play this schleeman let's play the janish um thank you sandra for, for the seven i might try jump king the problem with jump king as i said is that i actually try to play a little bit just to get a feel and the problem with babe of ascension is that it's very hard from the get-go um so i may or may not i'm not sure oh, the irl videos will be on youtube and, and there are a couple of reasons for that like i said with irl um there are a few things first of all going and doing irl I'm, I'm kind of concerned a little bit about safety honestly uh about like a huge mob showing up for various things so that's one of the reasons secondly um we 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 uh we're really doing like filming of like we're gonna be doing like interviews and all kinds of additional like photography and stuff so i kind of want to um kind of there 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 there, there, there are a few reasons for it 
Why is everyone jumping on the URL bandwagon? Um, one second. Let's go here. I guess and take with a pawn on queen g6, maybe. Uh, I have done the Jerome Gambit a little bit. Do Ben Feingold's comments annoy me? No, not at all. Ben's Ben's a great guy. I've known Ben for a long time. Like to, to be fair, I've known Ben. I don't even know how long, but I, I've I've known Ben since um probably since I was about like twelve or thirteen. I don't miss the bond cloud. I I don't. Oh, you mean oh you didn't mean URL. You meant IRL. Sorry, I, I heard URL and I I wasn't sure what that mean. Man, let's go Queen F seven. Will there be an opportunity to meet me while I'm in Detroit? Um, not sure. If you're if you're if you're at the park, maybe there's a chance. But I, but I would say that it's um, not sure. Wow, he found knight a five. That's a very good move. That's kind of annoying. Okay, let's go b six. This is gonna take some work to win now because I'm gonna need to get my rook over and attack. Why no Evans? Uh, I guess I maybe could play it. When is my next public chess game? I don't know what you mean by next public chess game. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go. I think I'll go here to line up a trick on d5, and also then I can double stack. Maybe even into a legendary triple stack on the g file. Maybe even to a double stack on the h file as well. So a lot of stuff. I think that Knack Manson Gambit's on this tier list, so I could definitely play it. Um, let's let's oh wait, legendary triple runs into 97. Or I can legendary triple him this way. Yeah, let's legendary triple here so he doesn't get the fork. So I still cover it. So now we have the legendary triple, also known as the Ali Ekans gun. Um next OTB turn will be the nine 960 chess in in uh in in St. Louis. I missed what did I miss? Where did I miss Rook takes G2? Oh, I could have sacked in one go, I guess. Okay, but this is a blunder because I just take. Oh, wait, no. If he takes and I take, I don't have mate. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. I just blundered again. I just made a big blunder. Let's see how what, I'm, what I can do. That was a big blunder by me. Okay, but he blunders right back into checkmate, and I and all is well, all is well. Very, very bad game. Okay, um, okay, e4 is pretty much the only opening that we can play, so we'll keep playing e4. Uh, I think we can play the Ponziani, or we can play the Danish. I might play Danish. Let's go Danish. Have I played the Danish in a FIDE game? Uh, no, I've not played Danish in like a long FIDE game. I have played it in. Um, I played against another grand. Oh. Oh, Napoleon is afraid of the gambit. He just gives back the pawn. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. Go B4 here. Chess is hard and heartbreaking. Yes, you guys. Chess is a very heartbreaking game. There are a few things in life that are as painful as uh, as losing a six-hour game of chess when you've been defending the whole way. few things in life. I tried to have arcade, but it doesn't have the effect. You need to refresh the page. So, for example, if it's not refresh, like you just change the animation, hit the refresh button and and reload it, and then the, then the animations will show up. Let's go here. Do I know Napoleon from real life? I I mean I might. I I don't know. Maybe. Any tips to stop tilting in chess? Uh, I mean, if, if I want to be sarcastic, what I would say is, I mean, it's just a game. Don't don't get mad, don't get mad over games. That's that's the that's the sarcastic comment that I would make. Um, on a more serious note, what I would say is probably, the, I mean, tilt is one of the hardest things to deal with, and that's what separates players at the upper echelons, especially because during long tournaments, a lot of it, a lot of a lot of like what your rating is about, it's about pure. Um, it's about pure consistency from tournament to tournament. A lot of that is game to game. Um, so, so, so what I would say is that probably the simple best way to avoid tilt is really focus. Try to focus on the big picture of the tournament as opposed to an individual game that goes wrong. That's what I would say. Let's take. Let's go queen two. Your games at Chess Cafe are amazing. More of that, please. Yeah, I've really enjoyed my games with Coffee Chess. Um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. And what I would say also is that um. Of course, I have to give a big shout out to them because without the great training and preparation from Boston Mike, 
uh i probably don't win in st louis so going and playing against those guys cutting my teeth playing some serious hardcore over the board chess really made a huge difference for me i can play queen a2 here which is kind of weird i don't want to do that uh actually let's just oh wait is g5 do i care not really they need extermination for the six months thank you so much So will I be returning to Kava Chess on a regular basis? I don't know if regular basis is the way of putting it, but yeah, I, I enjoy being there. I, I mean, I, I have to say that uh, let's take and take and go King H1. I really enjoy being around those guys. They're, they're just normal. They're, they're a lot of normal folks. They have normal jobs. I mean, they play chess casually for fun. They're not professionals. And I really enjoy it. I do. And it, 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 it reminds me of the young, young days when I played chess, when I was, when I was growing up and, you know, chess was just this casual game. It's all, it's all just a lot of fun. That's what it really reminds me of. Um, now, Queen E8 is a very good move. Like, a very good move, actually. Let's go here. Let's go C4. That was actually a terrible move by me, but... So, so yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah, queen eight is probably a very good move actually i think it, it just is a good move um how do i do this actually i need to speed up i think i need to trick him here at what age did chess become a job for me i would say chess really became a job after i mean it's always been on the edge but i say it really became a job when i when i um when i dropped out of college i'm gonna try to chop I'm gonna try to get really tricky with rook g1 here. I did go to college, yeah. I, I went to college with the misguided intention of studying political science. G4 is an awful move by me too. Oh, what am I doing? Now I'm just throwing. I just threw this game. Oh, I'm getting very careless. Very, very careless. All right, I'm going to lose this one. That was very careless. I was completely winning, and I just lost my mind in the middle there. Very careless. Okay, let's go D5, Knight F6. Trying too hard to, trying too hard to just play that one um, with the time. Yeah, that was very, very bad. Good night, P6. I'm not going to lose any more games, though, for now. I'm going to focus a little bit more. Yeah. Um, which young junior other than Ali Reza do you see in the top 10 of the future? I don't know, actually. No, I couldn't have flagged because there's there was Queen H3. I basically I probably could have flagged him if I didn't if I didn't hang H3. Thank you to Matias Grafanti for the 10, but he played really well. Thank you to Physics for the Prime. Once he was low on time and I just blundered a couple of pawns, he played that really well. Yeah. Although, I mean the openings, yeah, that, that one I shouldn't have lost because I was just better out of the opening, but it happens. Good bishop H5. Was there no chance to swindle him if I did? I basically allowed mate in two. I allowed a mate in two, so no, there wasn't. Let's go here. Let's play 95. Let me check on the score. I know I had another loss, but I also had a couple of wins that I didn't mark. Um, take a look. Where's that? Um, what was I at? Okay. It's 255 and two. Yeah, let's go um let's go here take with a pawn maybe i'll go f5 here maybe i just take could have also taken the knight perhaps they had a chris op for the 13 months thank you so much chris op appreciate it um let's just go f5 maybe f4 not the best move let's go queen e8 queen f7 am i rooting for anyone in the world championship match not specifically no I expect Magnus to win, but that, that, that's what I would say. How do I think Nero Disky and Hans will fare in the next CCT? I think, um, I'm, I expect Dan, I mean, I said it yesterday. I'll say it again. I know it's repetitive at some point, but to me, I think for, for Dania, it depends on the start. If he gets off to a reasonably decent start, he gets the right pairings at the beginning of the event. I think he could have a pretty, pretty, pretty solid result. If he gets like, say, Magnus and uh, like Ali Reza or something to start, it could be a very long term. I think a lot of it depends on, um, depends on the order of the players that he plays against. 
Let's go e5 and takes, I guess. So, so that, that's what I would say is I think it really depends on, um, that's what it depends upon. So this is a 3k. Yes. A decent start for Daniel would be, I mean, I think Daniel can probably, if I had to guess a good score for Daniel would be to go about maybe even mi minus one to minus two overall throughout the event, but with a bunch of draws or maybe a win here or there, I think he definitely could get some wins. Um, Whereas I would say like Hanson, I think Hanson's going to struggle. I think it's going to be a big struggle for him, uh, much more so. Okay, I'm going to play rookie six and maybe rookie eight and just double stack it. But yeah, I, I think Dania, for Dania, it's all about the start. For The only thing I would say about Hanson is that he should, um, uh, he should, uh, one second, wait, I can just take. Is that he should? I think for Hanson, he should score significantly better than is it A Wonder Liang or is it Vincent Kamer? I forget who the bottom players are, but he he is a much better player than the guy guys at the bottom. So he shouldn't become he shouldn't become a punching bag the way that um the way that some of those youngsters have been in past tournaments. Uh, FG four is move. I can also trade. Um, what else can I do? Oh, a P show is in it. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that P show was in it. Um. But yeah, uh, I guess I take and trade. Take the pawn. What tournament am I talking about? I'm talking about the Meltwater tournament. Thank you to Steve Award for the five months. Thank you so much to come back. Thank you to Cheese Burrito for the four months. Thank you so much. Uh, no, we're doing the speed run. We were doing this before I played in the Meltwater event. Then I, then I took a break from it. Obviously, after the Meltwater, I went on to play... This tournament in st louis where i crushed the field and um and so that's that's why we're getting back to this now let's go 95. wait what did i just do it's hung upon for no reason that was very poor um okay let's go here i guess hit the pawn Go c5. Will I do a 12 hour stream today? I'm not sure. Queen e5 hit the bishop. Um looks very good for me. Okay, let's oh wait, I can't take. Let's go check. Let's put the pawns on the light squares here so the bishop can't touch them ever. The pawns are on light. Let's go here. Everything is on white, which is important. I think there's just a checkmate next move. Yeah, Jump King, I, I might play. It depends. It, it depends. Really depends on, on the schedule and what's going on. If you could choose Magnus' next challenger, who do you pick between Fabian and Wesley? If I could pick Magnus' next challenger, Magnus' next challenger would be uh would be um it would be uh Fabiano Nakamura. That would be his next challenger if I if I could pick his next challenger. Because basically Fabiano is objectively best matched up. Fabiano is objectively best matched up against um best match up against uh against um against Magnus and classical more so than anyone else whereas like in rapid and blitz I match up better and as we know Fabiano drew all 12 games in uh Fabiano drew all 12 games in the classical portion but he was just he was just um I mean he was just out skilled in the in the rapid so 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 that's what I would say which is why Nepo actually has a very good chance objectively because Nepo is, is very good at classical but Magnus does not have the built-in edge in rapid and blitz the way that he did um against like Fabiano or um or uh or Fabiano or um uh or or uh or Sergey for that example that that's that, that's what I would say so like Nepo is very dangerous and um he's very dangerous in uh in Blitz go here go here I want to swing the Queen over create the right triangle Go check let's take the juicer come back I think this opponent knows your he card yeah this guy plays in all our view arena so of course he knows who I am go here just develop the rooks 
The shirt you got looks comfy. Yeah, it's, so one of the great things about going and playing tournaments in St. Louis, you guys, when you go play tournaments in St. Louis, is that they give you, they always give you some extra jackets to wear. So and that's why, I mean, even even more so than the chess, I got to go to St. Louis so I can get my free free uh, free jackets from uh, from um, from St. Louis. So yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. So I won't wear the ESPN jacket anymore. Of course I will. Yeah. Being a GM to get free jackets. Exactly. Okay, let's take the pawn. I have queen e5 next move. Just should just be winning here on the spot. I guess let's go. Um, yeah, let's just go rook d8, rook d3 next move. Queen e5 is coming. The whole, whole board is collapsing for white. Why aren't you top three in classical? I mean, I haven't really focused on classical chess in a long time. And especially in the in 2019, my rate my rating actually really got affected by two tournaments and spe two tournaments specifically, the FIDE World Cup, where I think I lost 15 points because I I in the first round I drew a 2550 in both games. Um, so I drew both games, I lost like seven points right there, and then I lost one and a half half in the second match. Uh, so I lost like 15 to 20 points. That one event alone basically is why my rating is not higher. So ratings can be somewhat deceptive, but I would say even, even after that, I haven't really focused on classical and I haven't played a classical tournament in a very, very long time. Thank you to L, 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 L Clark too, for the two months. Thank you to X Hoffa for the prime. Thank you so much to X Hoffa. Appreciate it. Um, this is obviously very good for me. I'm just going to try to trade some rooks here and finish the game as quickly as I can. Yeah, Fabiano in classical, I would I would honestly say myself in rapid and blitz, but but Fabiano for sure in classical. Still, to me, he's still the gold standard. Are you going to play in the Grand Swiss? Sorry if I missed you answering before. I actually have a pointed response to that, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I don't want to get into that at this very moment, but I'll talk about it um, just a little bit later.